our yoga practice today with what we call the four-sided breath. Now, if your knees are a lot higher than your hips like this, you're going to sit up on a blanket so that your hips can relax and your spine can be vertical, straight up and down. And we're going to do something to start with called the four-sided breath. So the tip of the tongue is going to rest on the roof of the mouth and you're going to breathe in and out through your nostrils. And four-sided breath, we're going to breathe evenly front to back and you're going to fill up from the base of the body. So the first part will fill into your base of your spine and lowest part of your abdomen. Second part is going to come up and fill up to just around the navel center. Third part is going to come up and fill right up to the chest. And then the last part of the breath is going to fill right up to the palate and throat. And then you'll just exhale fully. Okay, so here we go. Closing the eyes and find a soft smile on your face. Even just softening the four corners, the corners of your mouth. And here we go. Inhale into the lowest part of the spine. Then the navel center then the chest, and then all the way up to the throat and palate. And then you'll just let the breath out slowly. And again, inhale in those four parts, lower abdomen, navel, chest, and all the way up to the throat and palate. And then as you exhale, let the shoulders rest back and down. Relax your jaw. And we'll do one more round. Inhaling, filling up from the base, coming up to the navel, all the way up to the chest base of the palate, and exhale. Great. And we're going to open the eyes slowly. And then we're just going to work the loop of the shoulders. So remember the banker's pose just to keep the sides of your waistline lifting. And then the head of the arm bones roll back. And then you want to get this sense of broadening. And the head's going to rest right on top of the spine. Okay, so we're going to do that throughout the practice today. Um, we're going to start, oh yes, yeah, start with some side bends. So you're going to take your right hand down, left arm up and over, and then try to keep that opposite sitting bone grounded as you bend over to the side. And then inhale and come back up and exhale to the other side. And then inhale, come on up, and then we're going to twist, taking the left hand to the outside of the knee, right hand behind. And then as you exhale, ground down through your sitting bones, and as you inhale, grow up tall through the spine. And after you feel the length in your spine, keep twisting. Look over your shoulder and breathe. Eyes are soft. Continue with that soft smile on your face. One more big in-breath, lengthening your spine. Exhale, twist. And then inhale back to center and to the other side. So same thing, grounding down, then inhale, look up through the chest. Exhale, twist all the way. And then look to your left. Good, inhale, we'll come back to center, come back to the center of the spine, and then we'll make our way onto all fours for tabletop. Let's turn my mat a little bit. And we'll come into some cat-cow movements. So spread your fingers wide, and inhale, look up. Open the chest, and from your tailbone, exhale, curl and round. Press the chin to the chest, and round. 
Inhale, arch from the tailbone, lower back, open the chest. Exhale, curl round, press through the arms, chin to chest. And we'll do two or three more. Inhaling, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale, spread the chest open, shoulders back. Exhale, curl around. And last one, inhale. And exhale. Great, and then we'll come back to neutral position. And, oh, actually, before that, let's come on to all fours, and then we'll walk the hands out and just stretch the arms out in front of you. So knees come directly underneath your hips, and you're going to stretch out the arms, keep the upper arms lifting, and shoulders moving down away from the ears as you reach back. And then we'll inhale, come on up, and tuck your toes under, and we'll exhale, walk back into a standing forward bend. And you can take the hands up onto the shins, gently rest them there as you lift your chest. And then exhale, forward fold. And take a couple of breaths here in the center of your feet. And then we'll bend the knees and roll all the way up to standing. Great. And then from here, let's stand in mountain pose. So we'll bring the big toes together, heels slightly apart, and we'll open up the palms. And then just take a few breaths here of the weight in the center of your feet. Open up the chest. And bring the head right up on top of your spine. And you want to get a relaxed feeling in the shoulders. So shoulders roll back and down. Keep that banker's pose, but relaxed as well. And then we'll inhale the arms up. And exhale, we're going to bend the elbows just to get that work in the shoulders. So the shoulder blades pull down as the chest lifts up. And then we'll inhale, stretch the arms up again. And on the exhale, pull the elbows down as the chest lifts towards the ceiling. And inhale, reach back up. Good, and then release the hands. And we'll separate the feet about hip distance apart. Interlace your hands behind your back. And loop those shoulders back as you inhale, exhale. Fold forward. And then just let your head and neck release. You keep looping the shoulders back and down, but the head releases towards the floor. And then a couple more breaths here. Great, and then we'll inhale, slowly come on up. Exhale, walk the feet together. And then we'll inhale, stretch the arms all the way up. Turn the palms out and exhale. Come forward slowly, all the way into forward fold. Touch the floor, relax the head. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward. And then you're going to lead with your sternum, heart, inhale, stretch the arms slowly back up. Reach to the fingertips. So you want to root down through the feet as you reach to the fingertips. And then exhale the arms down by your sides. And we'll just do one or two more of these. Inhale. And follow that breath all the way out as you exhale, fold forward, and release the head and neck. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, fold forward. And inhale, sweep the arms wide and all the way up. Exhale, the arms by your sides. And the last one here, we'll inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to the halfway lift. And then exhale, I'm just going to turn, but you should probably be facing forward on your mat. So I'm going to turn so you can see me. And we're going to step back. And then knees to the floor, lower all the way down onto your bellies. And then we'll inhale, come on up into the cobra. And we'll start with the baby cobra. So baby cobra is a little bit lower. I'm just going to come up as high as you can, still lift your hands. And then place the hands back down. Loop those shoulders back. That banker's pose again. Then inhale, rise up. And come up a little higher. Make sure the toes are pointing straight back. Tops of the feet are grounded. And then exhale, lower. We'll press back onto all fours. It's going to get set up for downward facing dog here. So the hands are slightly forward of the shoulders, creases of the wrist align with the front of the mat. Then tuck the toes under, lift the hips. And we'll come up onto our toes first, just to get the lift in the hips, lengthen the spine, bend the knees a little bit. And then you'll roll your shoulders away from each other, draw the shoulder blades onto the back a little bit more. Press into the hands, and then eventually you'll start to straighten the legs. And breathe. Take some long, deep breaths here. And with every exhale, a little more grounding in the heels. Every more, every inhalation, a little more extension in the spine. And then finish your next exhalation and you're gonna to walk to the top of your mat. Inhale up, halfway, and exhale, fold in. And then inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, the arms down. We're going to move into some standing poses. So we'll start with triangle pose. So you're going to start with your feet wide apart, about one leg length. Turn your right foot out first. The back foot's just turned in a tiny little bit. And then inhale the arms wide. And as you exhale, you're going to tip your hips all the way to the side. Reach to the arm and then place the hand on the shin or ankle and turn to look up at your thumb. If it hurts your neck, you can keep your head down a little bit. Otherwise, you're going to look up. And just take a breath here. Open the feet, soften your mouth and face. And then try to push a little bit more into the big toe mound of your front foot. And then pull the outer hip crease back and open the chest more. To come out of the pose, exhale all the way out, push into the legs, and inhale, come on up. We'll turn back to center just for a breath, and then you'll turn right over to the left side. So spread your toes, make sure the front heel lines up with the back arch or back heel, and then inhale, stretch the arms. And exhale, tip the hips as you come up and over so you can see I'm reaching through the arm. Then place the hand on the shin or ankle. And again, once you get here, just take a nice full breath. Open up the feet, toes spreading wide. Yeah. And then from your tailbone, from the base of your spine, extend up to the crown of your head nice and long. Turn to look up if you can. Long breaths. Try to keep a little smile on the face. Finish your next exhale and then inhale. Come on up to standing. 
And we'll turn right over to the other side. Arms stretch up again. Exhale, bend the front knee. So we're coming into, this is called the warrior pose. And ideally, you bend your knee right over the ankle. Back leg is super strong. Arms extend straight out from the chest. And then bring your gaze up over your fingertips. So you want to feel a stable foundation here. So from the pelvis and hips, grounding and rooting through the feet. And then the spine is strong, heart is soft and open, and breathe. Eyes are steady. From here, we're just going to take it right into the next pose. So forearm comes onto the thigh, and then spin your top arm overhead. You can see I have a nice straight line from the back of the heel all the way up through the fingertips. Lightness on the elbow, so you don't want to lean too far in. The legs are holding your weight here. And if it feels okay in your neck, you can look up to your fingertips. And then inhale, come on up. We'll turn back to center and then we'll go right to the other side. Arms stretch wide. Exhale, bend the knee. Warrior two, a nice strong stance in your legs. Spine is vertical, heart is open, shoulders are soft. So you're gonna get a feeling of softness across the chest and through the arms. And then on the next exhale, bring your forearm to your thigh, spin your top arm overhead. So the shoulder stays down as the arm reaches up. And then turn and look up softly. Breathe. Take your big ujjayi breaths. And then inhale. Come on up to standing. And we'll walk the feet together. Close the eyes. And then we'll just come to, oh yeah. So we're just gonna do a couple more poses. We're gonna stay here in the forward fold. You can fold forward and step your right leg back. And then we'll come on up here with the hands on the thigh. Just open up this front of your groin here. You wanna do a little isometric movement so you're Squeezing the legs this way in towards each other, then sinking the hips a little bit lower. So take some breaths here. Meet the sensations that you feel in your body with your breath. Relax your face. And then from here, we're going to reach back, take a hold of the foot. You might need a wall just to hold your balance. Okay, and again, you're gonna squeeze in a little bit to square the hips forward and then sink. And you should feel this in your quad muscle. Maybe a little deeper stretch in the quad muscle. And then exhale, release. Good, coming back facing forward. So you're gonna take your right elbow and wrap it around the outside of the left knee. And then fold your hands here. And then this pose, you're just gonna twist a little bit, twist and turn to your side. So when you're twisting, first you wanna lengthen through the spine, and then you wanna exhale, twist. Good, and then we'll just release and we'll step back and switch sides. So both hands here on the thigh, point the back toes. And again, squeeze the legs in, work that isometric movement, sink your hips. We'll reach the left arm back, take a hold of the foot. 
So again, coming into this quad stretch, keep a little bit of sta stable movement of hugging the thighs in. Soften your face and keep breathing. So just try to meet the sensation in the muscles and the joints with your breath. So you're breathing into this discomfort rather than resisting it. Good, and then exhale, release, and we'll take our left elbow, wrap it around the outside of the right knee, fold the hands at the heart, and then before you twist a lot, you want to lengthen from the base of your spine to the top of your head, lengthen, and exhale, turn. Breathe deeply. And then exhale, release. Great. Okay, so now we're going to finish. Uh, yeah, let's finish lying on our back here, the final bridge pose. So we're going to lie down. And you want to bend the knees and come up onto the elbows with the fingers pointing up towards the ceiling and just gently walk the shoulders back. Press into the elbows. Exhale. And then inhale, lift your hips all the way off the floor. Come up under the shoulders. And breathe here a couple of breaths. You can maybe walk the shoulders in a little bit more. And you want to try to keep your chin neutral. So the throat is open, mouth is soft, tongue is resting on the roof of the mouth. And then push the inner heels a little bit more so you get a little more lift through the hips here. And then you can interlace the hands Maybe walk in a teeny bit more with the shoulders. And then just breathe. Breathe into the sensation, into the resistance. Hmm. And then we'll take our last breath, lifting the hips just a tiny bit higher. And then on the exhale, release the hands. And we'll release the hips down, let the knees rest into each other. Take a few breaths. Hmm. And then the knees come back to the chest. Give yourself a little squeeze here. And then we'll take the arms and cactus them out to the side. And we'll finish with one last twist here. Both knees come all the way to the right. And then try to let the left shoulder go back to the floor. And then inhale back to center. Exhale, lift the knees to the left. Move off the right shoulder. And inhale back to center, draw the knees in towards the arm, top of the arm bones. And then we're going to slowly stretch the legs back out again, or all the way onto the floor. And just let the palms face up towards the ceiling, walk the shoulders back, let the legs and feet fall away from each other, and allow the arms to fall away from each other. And then go ahead and just slowly let go from the top of your head, just letting go of any tension in your face, around your jaw. And then keep following your awareness down, relaxing your throat, your chest, the shoulders, all the way down the lower ribs and the belly. Soften all the tension in the abdomen, around the hip flexors and legs. And just keep letting go all the way down through the knees, 
Roll our legs into the feet. And just totally let go of any residual holding. You can stay here in Shavasana as long as you'd like. And when you're ready, you can wiggle the fingers and the toes. And then the ankles and the wrists, stretching the arms overhead. And just gently roll to the side for a moment. Pause. And then you'll keep your hips soft, legs soft as you come all the way up to sitting. Thank you so much for your practice today. And try to do this practice on a daily basis if you can. It's, or three times a week is great too. Thank you.